The luxury yacht is not just a mode of transportation, but a symbol of wealth and status symbol that can only be afforded by the wealthy billionaires of the world. It has become normal for the world's wealthiest individuals to drop millions, even billions, on lavish super yachts. They first began to appear at the beginning of the 20th century, when wealthy individuals started to commission the construction of large private yachts for their own personal pleasure. The most luxurious yachts worldwide offer extravagant features like movie helipads, theaters, concert halls, multiple swimming pools, saunas, and hot tubs. Skybag The yacht, which was unveiled at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, measures 8.4 meters and was designed by Dutch super yacht designer Cord de Rover. Its her feature is a huge deck pool, which can be fully enclosed by a cleverly designed glass structure, which folds away into the yacht's superstructure when not in use. Anyone can call this the ship for all seasons. The 80 meter skyback features a retractable climate control glass enclosure for its off-deck pool so that inclement conditions will not prevent those on board from making a splash. The yacht's layout is fairly conventional, with a main salon and dining on the main deck, as well as four large guest cabins. The deck above is reserved for the owner and she is topped by the bridge deck, which will also include a second salon. The lower deck houses the crew, a large aft beach club, tender garage, and cinema. In total, the yacht will accommodate up to 10 guests and a crew of 25. Motor Yacht A This beauty is designed by Felipe Stark with Martin Francis for Russian billionaire Andrei Melenchenko. Built by Blom and Voss, Motor Yacht A is 119 meters long and weighs 5,959 tons. Reminiscent of a submarine warship, the mega yacht's name is a tribute to Andrei Malashenko and his wife, a Serbian fashion model, Alexandra Nikolic. It can accommodate a crew of 37 and 14 guests, and if the sea isn't inviting enough for those on board, there is a choice of three swimming pools. A peaceful ambience, wooden furnishings, and comfortable furniture have all been included in the yacht's design. Additional features like glass roof looking up one of the swimming pools can also be found. It boasts a 2,500 square feet measure suit, along with six guest suits that can be converted to four staterooms. Planning to get one for yourself? Oh, you just have to prepare $323 million. Polaris. Launched in November 2003, Polaris was built at Lursen's Krogerware facility. It was originally commissioned by a Saudi Arabian as a replacement for a coral island. Eventually, it was sold to the Russian tycoon Roman Abramovich, and then David Geffen bought it in May 2011. The yacht is the work of two internationally known designers, Tim Haywood, who drew the superstructure and working areas, and Terence Disdale, who created an interior that revels in the informal atmosphere of a beachside villa. This yacht has everything. Two helicopter pads, a swimming pool with artificial current, a spa pool, and an owner's suite with 180-degree panoramic views that opens to a private deck. Polaris's interior configuration has been designed to comfortably accommodate up to 20 guests overnight in 11 cabins, comprising a master suite, two VIP staterooms, and eight double cabins. She's also capable of carrying up to 41 crew on board to ensure a relaxed luxury yacht experience. Its amenities include a gym, jacuzzi on deck, an elevator, helipad, beach club, a tender garage, swimming platform, spa, underwater lights, swimming pool, cinema, and a dance floor. Epiphany The Epiphany is a concept super yacht that if were to become a reality, it would be one of the world's largest. British yacht designer Andy Waugh's concept is an over-the-top 427-foot super yacht that could cost 267 million to 667 million to build. The yacht's bridge is situated on the upper deck, offering commanding views, and aft of the bridge and main central lobby is an owner's library and balcony overlooking a double-height lounge on the owner's deck below. On the owner's deck itself, the stateroom extends forward with views toward a private foredeck with seating areas and a hot tub. Aft, there is a private cinema and an office with cabin space for a PA or other staff. Below the owner's deck is a dedicated VIP deck with four huge VIP cabins, each with private balconies. Other features on this deck include a cinema, gaming area, gym and spa, and there is alfresco dining aft. 
The aft deck hosts the main pool area, which converts into a helipad. Forward, there are two further VIP cabins and eight guest cabins. Long bulwarks along the entire deck and full height glass give an enhanced sense of openness and space. A beach club and tender stowage are on the lower deck, along with a cinema, dive room, and crew accommodation towards the bow. The crew areas include a dedicated officer's mess and security office, along with cabins for around 40 crew and staff. Al Said The Al Said is owned by Sultan Quabos Al Said, the Sultan of Oman, whose net worth is estimated at $1 billion. Al Said is a royal yacht, and just one of three luxury yachts owned by Sultan Quabos Al Said. It is based in Oman and escorted by Oman Navy when traveling. The overall length of Al Said is 155 meters. She has a beam of 24 meters and a drought of 5.2 meters. Al Said was built by Lursen Yachts for an estimated cost of $300 million. It has onboard space for a crew of 140 along with 65 guests. She has a top speed of 25 knots and cruising speed of 22 knots. Its majestic interior features classically paneled wood walls, huge entertaining and reception spaces, including a large concert hall that can accommodate a 50-piece orchestra. Money Gang, if you think that these yachts are too much and unnecessary, watch this video till the end. Bet you you'll be blown away by a super yacht that's covered in platinum and gold from bow to stern. Shaddai this is a concept mega yacht designed by Italian designer Gabriele Terussi to take its owner to a point of extreme sense of power. The exquisite boat is called Shaddai, and the name was chosen in order to express the idea that stood at the basis of this foundation, man's power. This is a Hebrew word meaning almighty or all-powerful in English. As a matter of fact, Shaddai refers to one of the names given to God in the Hebrew Bible. The gigantic vessel has fabulous features like an aquarium, a glass bottom pool, an enormous viewing deck, and culminates with an elevated cabin with a height of 38 meters above the water surface. The distinguished cabin has a 150 square meters terrace equipped with a bar, a dining area, and an infinity pool with a glass wall offering incredible views and guaranteeing complete privacy. The main deck is closer to the sea level and comes equipped with sun loungers, a beach club, an infinity pool with a glass floor, and an aquarium. On the main aft deck, guests can enjoy the sounds of water falling from an infinity pool on the upper deck. The truth is that this gorgeous yacht looks more like a piece of modern sculpture than like a boat for wealthy people. The construction bill is estimated at about $250 million, as Shaddai will be made using materials from the most important fashion houses in Italy. Radiant Radiant was commissioned by the Russian media tycoon Boris Borovsky, who wanted a rival to Polaris, owned by his arch-enemy Roman Abramovich. Beresovsky decided to build the yacht, which would cost him $167,000, which were payable by installments plus interior fitting costs. However, as the economy crisis hit, he subsequently sold her to Abdullah al Futaim, a billionaire car dealer from the United Arab Emirates, before she was completed. Radiant has an overall length of 110 meters and a beam of 16 meters. Radiant's interior configuration has been designed to comfortably accommodate up to 20 guests overnight in 10 cabins and could carry up to 40 crew on board to ensure a relaxed luxury yacht experience. As well as the standard features for a yacht of this size, Helipad Gymnasium Cinema Spa, it has one of the highest security specifications ever conceived. Bersovsky ordered a personal escape launch, a speedboat with turbocharged twin diesel engines capable of exceeding 75 knots. It is also equipped with an arsenal of sonic guns that fire low frequency sound waves that can burst the eardrums of approaching assailants, and a military water cannon capable of sinking an approaching boat at more than 100 yards. Eclipse the 165-meter-long yacht, Eclipse, is the world's second largest and one of the most expensive super yachts. With an estimated cost of $382 million, the Eclipse has been owned by its current owner Roman Abramovich since December 2010. Built by renowned German shipbuilder Blom & Voss, the Eclipse was launched in June 2009 after a total of five years of design, development, and testing. 
Before its final delivery, several seed trials were done starting in May 2009 at Kirsensand, Norway. This yacht offers a huge area for luxurious leisure activities. The Bermuda flagged Lloyd's Register class yacht has a gross tonnage of 13,000 tons. Her accommodation includes an owner's deck of 56 meters in length and facilities for up to 92 crew and owner's personal staff. The entire yacht has been bejeweled with features to make it more luxurious. Spread across a number of decks, the facilities abroad Eclipse include a gym, dance floor, underwater lights, beach club, Wi-Fi connection, beauty salon, tender garage, and deck jacuzzi, etc. Further, the Eclipse holds two helipads and a 16-meter swimming pool that can be converted into a dance floor. This motor yacht is capable of accommodating three helicopters, two on both helipads and the third one in a storage hangar located below the foredeck. Moreover, Eclipse also flaunts internal lifts, six tenders, and an exterior fireplace on board. The boat also features a place for a three-person private submarine that can go up to a depth of 160 feet. Eclipse is also one of the most technologically advanced yachts around the world. The boat boasts latest technology safety features, which include motion sensors, bulletproof glass, and an anti-ballistic missile defense. In fact, each cabin in the yacht comes with a private 6-feet home cinema screen, a jacuzzi, spa, and specialized security systems. According to reports, Eclipse has an anti-paparazzi system, which detects the use of digital cameras to click photographs of the boat. Using lasers, the system detects digital cameras and disrupts a potential photograph of the yacht, as those infrared lights can make it unstable. Did you know that Eclipse was voted Motor Yacht of the Year at the World Super Yacht Awards in 2011? This is one is really a luxurious yacht. Azam At 590 feet long, the Azam is known to be the largest super yacht in the world and cost $600 million to build over the course of four years. When it was launched in 2016, the yacht broke the record previously held by the Eclipse. It was built by Lurzen Yacht, with exterior design by Nauda Yachts, and interior design by French designer Christophe Leoni. The Zom can move quickly for its size. It has a length of around 180 meters, over 17 meters longer than the Eclipse, with a beam of almost 21 meters and a draft of nearly 4.5 meters. With its 94,000 horsepower, the boat has hit a speed of 31.5 knots, or about 37 miles per hour, which is believed to be the fastest speed for a yacht longer than 300 feet. The Sam is a deluxe yacht, which flaunts incredible complexity in its detail and design. The super yacht can accommodate up to 36 guests, advancing the Assam as the largest super yacht in terms of guest capacity. A crew of 60 people is required on board to maintain the yacht alone. This yacht is one of the most expensive masterpieces and will, for yearly maintenance, cost around 10% its full price. This means the owner must spend over 60 million every year to keep Azam in prime condition before cruising off to a foreign destination. History Supreme the History Supreme was created and built by Stuart Hughes, a British purveyor of frilly gadgets and the creator of both the most expensive suit and most expensive iPhone in the world. This Supreme boat was sold to an anonymous ultra-wealthy Malaysian businessman, assumed to be Robert Kuok. This work of art took Hughes three years to complete and cost $4.8 billion. Hughes never met a purchaser of his creation, Mr. Kuok, who is reported to be the richest man in Malaysia, with a net worth of $12.5 billion. The entire vessel, for that matter, includes about 220,463 pounds of solid gold as building material. The base is wrapped in gold, and it is also incorporated in the deck, the dining area, rails and anchor, and kitchenware. The stairs on the upper deck are said to have been made of solid gold. Platinum is also used heavily, especially in the chef kitchen and the master suite, which, to boot, also features a wall made of meteoric stone and a sculpture made of actual T-Rex dinosaur bones sourced in Arizona. The bone alone is worth about eight to nine thousand dollars, in case you're wondering. Unfortunately, History Supreme is all but just another concept. Baya Yats, however, later came forward with a statement saying that the story was fake and that Hughes had taken pictures from their website, which he then tried to pass off as his own concept. 
But still, with the plans already laid out, nothing is impossible. Only if there is money and time to build this idea. Money Gang, out of curiosity, if you will have the chance to spend a weekend in one of these luxury yachts, which would you choose and why? Share your answers in the comments down below. We'll make sure to reply to every single comment that is posted within the first hour. If you find this video awesome, I know you'll have a great time watching our video about top 10 most expensive cars in the world. You'll have a look at these mind-boggling machines that were not just made for transportation, but also the flamboyance and swagger of their riders. Peace.